I will be presenting our work on THRL, a graph-based approach for long horizon and sparse hierarchical reinforcement learning. Hierarchical reinforcement learning, which trains multiple levels of goal condition RL, has improved the performance of RL in complex and sparse tasks with long horizons using temporally extended policy. HRL framework typically has a high-level policy which produces a sub-goal and a low-level policy which is instructed to achieve the sub-goal. However, HRL often shows poor data efficiency in complex or large environments. Previous studies speculated that the cause of this problem is the large action space since it imposes a heavy burden on high-level policy. To this end, they restricted the high-level action space to elevate this phenomenon. Nevertheless, this approach performs well only in limited complexity and still suffers from the same trouble in large environments. Now, let's look at the structural limitation of HRL. In previous HRL frameworks, the horizons of both rivers are related to each other structurally because they share the total length of the episode. This relation causes a trade-off between the burden of both rivers. If the intervals between high-level action increases, the lower one has to cover a wider range. And in the opposite case, the higher one takes charge of the extended burden alone in large environments. What if we can break down the relations and allow both rivals to operate at their super horizons? To do so, we propose to decouple the horizons of both rivals and bridge the gap between the length of both horizons using a graph. If we have a well formed graph over state space, we could use a graph to break down the sub goal into several waypoints and instruct the low-level policy to achieve the waypoint. Then, the high-level policy can use a longer temporal abstraction while the lower one only takes charge of a smaller coverage by decomposing the sub-goal into several waypoints with a graph. After a certain time step, the upper policy provides a new sub-goal and this whole process is repeated until the final goal is achieved. Then, how we can construct a well-formed graph of our states? We first sample graph nodes from low-level replay buffer. Then, we construct the temporal distance between states using a low-level Q network. Unfortunately, there are some difficulties in training an HRL framework with a graph. Firstly, when the low-level policy is not yet competent in achieving some goals, the accumulation of failure experiences in buffer causes an overestimation of the distance reconstructed from the Q-value. To solve this problem, we maintain separated Q-networks for graph construction and policy learning. Also, since the graph is gradually updated, high level MDP in our method is not stationary, and it is hard to train our algorithm into the op policy framework. To solve this problem, we extended the hindsight action relabeling method to the graph level. We evaluated DHRL on typical HRL environments and more sparse and long horizon tasks. Thanks to decoupling the horizons of the rivals, DHRL shows high data efficiency and significantly outperforms prior state-of-the-art algorithms. This page visualizes the behavior of learned agent in long horizon and cluttered environments. To verify whether it is advantageous to decouple the horizons, we show the performance of DHRL at various high level intervals. Unlike the previous method, DHRL is robust to the interval and is performing well evenly regardless of the interval and the size of the environment. For further experimental results and technical details, please refer to our paper. Thank you for listening.